What's up, YouTube? Your boy James to the old man. I was watching a Netflix documentary. I thought it was going to hit theaters, but it didn't. It's a documentary called When They See Us. The producer was Oprah Winfrey. I didn't know that at the time. I was just watching the show. Not realizing she was the producer of that show. It's based on a true story. Because as I'm watching it, I'm figuring out, I go, this must be based on a true story. Based on the events and how stuff went down. Now, it's a story of five teenage boys. Two of them were 14 years old. The other two were 15 years old. That's four. And the other one was 16. Now, they say around back in 1989, in the month of April, I guess they ditched school, did whatever. It was at this park called Central Park. And they ended up being dubbed as the Central Park Five. Some Caucasian woman got attacked, beaten, raped, was in a coma for like two weeks. She almost died. Somebody else was jaw. He got raped. I don't know if he got raped, but he got robbed, and he was injured too. And they say there was a couple more other victims in that jogger park where people go and jog and I guess exercise, do whatever. So upon criminal investigation by police, the parents were not there. They were coerced to confessing to a crime that they did not do. Because they thought they was going to go home and forget about it. So they signed signatures and they said police later on went and typed up a confession and attached their signature to the paper. Arresting all five of them. And they got hit with rape, attempted murder in the second degree, and some other charges. They said the charges were so severe that all five of them could be tried as adults. The only problem was they say in the state of New York that the that the 14s and the 15 year olds really can't be tried as an adult, but 16 you're eligible. And now is that one guy that was 16 years old that they try as an adult. They trials were separate. They all got convicted of all the charges that was against them pretty much. They dodged the rape charge and it was found guilty of a lesser sexual charge. So the four that were not 16 years old, I mean, they did six, seven years in juvenile facilities. The 16 year old got tried as an adult since and went to adult prison. He ended up doing 12 years, but their max was, I think 13, 15 years, but they had a range anywhere from five to 15. He did 12, the, other ones, the others did six, seven years. Eventually they got out. Now, while the 16-year-old was in prison, he met the guy who actually raped the Caucasian lady at the joggers park. He confessed to it because he found out that they were in prison and jail locked up because of what he did. So upon forensic evidence, DNA, they said that these five boys are not responsible. Because the way she was beaten up, DNA Evans would have got either on them or on her, or both. And neither is the case. So they ran Dude's DNA because he volunteered to give information while in prison. So he gave him a sample of his blood, whatever. So they ran it, compared it, and they said it matched. And it is him. He said, I was the only one that did this attack. He was already serving life in prison for what he did at that part to other people. So he killed two women, raped, told four, but two of them he killed. He was already facing a life sentence. But the thing was, when they confirmed that he did rape the girl that the five boys were accused of, they couldn't charge him because they said it was a statute of limitation that had expired. And during the case when it was hot back in 89, 90 year, they said Donald Trump during that time was speaking up on it. Speaking against the five boys, saying that they were guilty and they were wrongdoing and hopefully just to serve or whatever the crazy crap he said. So they was on BET Awards. 
Then they pay a tribute to Nipsey Hussle, and then they had the Central Park Five guys. I didn't know that. Otherwise, I'd have watched. They all got exonerated. They all end up with a combined total of fifty million dollars. Curry Wise was a dude that was tried as an adult when he was sixteen. I think he donated two hundred thousand dollars to University of Colorado Law School, and they named the Innocence Project after his name, which is pretty nice. And Barack Obama gave one of the Lifetime Achievement Awards to one of the teenage boys. Well, they grown men now, but yeah. And Trump is still talking that junk that, hey, they should never be exonerated. They should never got a settlement. They still should be locked up. They need to suffer for the rest of their life. They, got, they all got out and had to register as sex offenders for life. Can't get housing, can't get a job, can't do none of that stuff. Stay in New York. Four of the five moved out of the state of New York. The only one that didn't move out was the one I was trying as an adult. He stayed. I've been like the other four. I'm out of here too. I got to go. I'm not finna stick around here in the state of New York. Traumatize the mess out of me. But hey, it worked out for all five of them. They got out. They got their names cleared from the wrongdoings and the crimes they were accused of, which was good. But even then, they still should have. Never been in that situation to begin with. Police coercion and was forced to make up a lie on themselves so they can get in trouble. If you know about Central Park, the Central Park Five, let me know what you think about their story, their Netflix movie, and all other good stuff. Like, comment, share, subscribe, video, tell me what you think. I'll be reading your comments down below. Just post it and I'll be ready.